Hey everybody, this is Diana from Sweet y Salado, and today we're going to make some chicken empanadas. And these are very similar to the ground beef empanadas that we made a couple years ago, except these have shredded chicken and also some cooked rice. As always, the link for this recipe is going to be available at the end of the video and in the info box below. First, we're going to cook our chicken. I'm using some chicken breasts, but you can use dark meat if you want. And we're going to place it in a medium pot with some green onion, white onion, garlic, and we're going to cover it with plenty of water. Then we're going to cover it and bring it to a boil on high heat. And once it's boiling, we're going to reduce the heat to medium and we're going to cook for about 35 minutes or until the chicken is cooked. Then we're going to remove the chicken from the pot, we're going to let it cool, and then we're going to shred it with our hands. In the meantime, we are going to cook our potatoes, and these are some russet potatoes cut into cubes. We're going to add them to a medium pot, cover with water, and season with salt. Then we cover and bring to a boil on high heat, and once they're boiling, we're going to reduce the heat to medium, and we're going to cook for about 20 to 25 minutes, or until they're tender. Then we're going to drain them, and we're going to mash them with a potato masher or a fork. Now we're going to make our dough or our masa. So we're going to place some warm water in a medium bowl. We're also going to add a chicken bouillon. This is optional, but it gives it a really nice flavor. Some food coloring like sazon goya or triguisar. Softened butter. And then we season with salt. Now we're going to start adding our pre-cooked cornmeal into the water. And this is the pre-cooked cornmeal that we use to make arepas. We keep stirring and then we finish stirring with our hands. We're going to mix everything really well until we get a nice soft dough or masa. Then we're going to cover it and we're going to let it rest for about 20 minutes. In the meantime, we are going to make our guiso or seasoning. So we're going to heat some olive oil in a large pan on medium heat. Then we're going to add some chopped green onion. And we're also going to add some chopped garlic. We're going to cook this for about two to three minutes. And then we're going to add some chopped tomato. And we're going to cook this for about three to five minutes or until our tomato is nice and soft. Now we're going to season with some cumin. We're also going to add a chicken bouillon, and again, this is optional. Then we season with salt and pepper to taste. And now we're going to add some cooked rice. This is just white cooked rice that I added a little bit of color to it. And if you need to learn how to make white rice, all you have to do is click on the rice right now. And that will take you to the video where I show you how. We're also going to add the mashed potatoes. If you want, you can add a little bit of cilantro. This is completely optional. And then finally, we are going to add our shredded chicken. We stir everything really well to make sure the chicken absorbs all the flavor from our seasoning. 
And then we check for seasoning. If it needs more salt, all you have to do is add a little bit more. To assemble our empanadas, we're going to cover our tortilla press with some plastic. Then we make a ball with our dough and then we press down. And then we add a little bit of filling. If you don't have a tortilla press, you don't have to worry because you can use a plate to smash it down or even the bottom of a pan. Then we're going to fold over the masa, making sure the filling stays inside. We're going to help ourselves with the plastic. And then we press it down with our fingers. And to give it a clean edge, we are going to cut it with a bowl just like this. You can also use a large cup. We remove the plastic and then we get rid of the excess masa. Then we're going to fry our empanadas in batches at 350 degrees for about 6 to 7 minutes or until they're golden brown. And once they're ready, we're going to remove them and let them drain on paper towels. And you can serve the empanadas with some Colombian hot sauce. And if you need to learn how to make it, all you have to do is click on the hot sauce right now. And that'll take you to the video where I show you how. You can also serve them with some green hot sauce. And I also have a video on how to make that. And I'm going to leave you the link for that in the info box below. And that's your recipe for making some Colombian chicken empanadas. If you enjoyed this video and this recipe, Please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel, which is absolutely free. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and Google+. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye, and buen provecho.